What's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing a Snapchat Q&A, another Ask Dante. This is Ask Dante 4. And hopefully you guys like this. I want to incorporate Snapchat because I want like the people that like you guys watching to see the person ask me a question. So hopefully you guys like this because it's something different. I know my brightness on my camera is going to change because when I go like that, you can't see it. So like I touch my screen to make it like that. So that's probably how it's going to be so you guys can, um, you know, see the person. So let's get started. All right, so this is the first person. I am so excited. Oh, wait, we got one coming in. Oh, we got one coming in. So who is this? Um, Mana Russell. Here we go. Go. What the tip? Oh. It's 26 management, still taking you to Puerto Rico. Love you, Dante. Aw, I like these. Um, they actually have done went to Puerto Rico. Hopefully you guys can heard that. She asked the 26 management was taking Puerto Rico. They actually already went and I missed out on it, but it's okay because we'll have many trips coming in the future. So thank you so much for your question. Adrian Garcia three. Come on. Is YouTube a hobby or do you actually want to make it a job? YouTube is a hobby as of right now. Um, I do all this stuff for free. Yeah, I have, I'm under a network and I do get paid, but it's not like, oh my God, you're making all this money. It's not even like that. I can't even live off this. That's kind of like a little play money that I have. Um, but as of right now, I do this for a hobby and I'll probably be doing this for a hobby for a while until a big network signs me. So yeah, thank you so much for your question. I don't know how to say your name, but it's 432. You're right there. So here we go. Ooh, eyes on fleet. How has your life changed with becoming a YouTuber? I know you're doing your Q&A, but I just wanted to say I love you so much, and I hope to one day meet you and hug you. Oh. Okay, so I might be going on tour, depends. Uh, I might be going on tour with Digi. Um, that might be happening. I might go on Sleigh Bells, or I might go on tour next year for Digi. So that's still up in the air. And I forget the other question you asked me. Oh my God, I forget. But I love you too. Kind of mad you gave me a half a heart, but I understand you're holding your phone. It's good. Here's the other half to that heart. So thank you so much for your question. I think you said, was YouTube a hobby or something? I can't remember. Oh my God, I suck. I'm so sorry, but thank you for your question. Friend005. Hold on, there we go. What is your favorite color? You're on it, girl. You on it. My favorite color is blue. I love blue. I've always loved blue. And yeah, thank you for your question. Beto, what is it? Beto something. I don't know. Here we go. What's your favorite video you've made? Okay. My favorite video that I've made will probably have to be the one that I did to Justin Bieber. Uh, his new so his song called Where Are You Now? The reason I like that video so much is because... That video really broke me out, and Justin saw that, so that really helped me out, like helped me out a lot. And also, I did a reaction to Nicki Minaj's Anaconda music video, and that helped me out a lot too. That's what really started this whole reaction thing, because so many Nicki Minaj fans oh. liked it. Oh my God, Facebook, shut the fuck up! But because so many Nicki Minaj's fans liked it, and that's really what started me really getting more confident in doing reactions. So thank you so much for your question. This is like Pam something up there. Here we go. Hi, Dante. My question for you is. What made you want to like, start making YouTube videos? If I'm not too late, from here, but bye. I love you. You're really pretty. I like your accent. So I started making YouTube videos because I felt that before when I started, I was doing like rants and stuff, but I didn't like it too much. I wasn't going nowhere with it. And I'm like, I need to come back on YouTube with something really good. And I started doing reactions. Ever since then, uh, I've grown a fan base. I've enjoyed making videos. I actually love making videos. I love editing them. It's so fun. And the fact that a year later, here I am with almost 70,000 subscribers on this channel. And then I got 60 some thousand on my other channel. So I have like over 100,000 subscribers like total. That's pretty sick. So it's just, it's just crazy. And I love it. And I'm just glad you guys like me and like my sense of humor. And you find me funny and you find me sweet. So thank you. Thank you for your question. Is it Ivory? All right, here we go. What quote or person do you like that inspires you to keep doing what you're doing, and no matter like what anybody thinks? And I love your video. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't really live by any quote. 
I really don't. The only quote that I live by is live, last slay, bish. And that's the one that I made because I just think that's really cool. I still can't believe I came up with that. I think that's really awesome. Um, but the only person that I really look up to on YouTube-wise is... I like Joe Sugg. I like him a lot. I don't know why I like him a lot, but he's just really funny. And I can watch his videos all the time and never get bored. Like how some of you guys watch my videos back to back, like different videos all the time, and rewatch them. That's what I do with Joe. I rewatch some of his videos. And I just, I re laugh and it's fun. So I like Joe Sugg the most, but there's other YouTubers that I do like, but Joe Sugg is probably my favorite. So thank you for your question. All right, let's do this one. Hey, Dante. My question is if you were able to have three wishes, what would they be? Hi. Oh, sorry. Um, if I had three wishes, what would they be? One, to lose weight, two, to have tons of money, and three, to be able to travel the world and just sightsee and see different people, meet different people, and interact with you guys. That would probably be my third wish. So, that's my three wishes. Why couldn't you give me like five wishes? Damn, I would have a cure for, I'll say a cure for cancer and all that stuff. Come on, give me five wishes next time. Let's try this one. My question is, what is the best birthday present you've ever been given? And another question, what is your favorite reaction you ever did? Okay, my favorite birthday gift I ever got would probably have to be this Spider-Man thing that I got when I was like in, I think I was nine. It's like the thing, the, the, the Spider-Man glove you put in your hand. And you can like go like this, and it would squirt out, um, what is it? It would squirt out uh, Silly String. Loved it. I was like in love. I love Spider-Man when I was little, and I just would always go around shooting my webs at people. Like if bitches were talking shit, pss, right in your mouth. You're done. Over. And one of my reactions that I watch sometimes, over and over again, is like I said before, my Justin Bieber one, my Nicki Minaj one. My big ones, mainly I watch. But sometimes I just go back and watch old ones and I laugh at myself because some of the shit that I say, like, I'm just, I can't believe I said some of the things that I said before. Like, oh my God, my asshole, the hairs in my asshole were standing up. Like, who the fuck says that? Me. Some things I say I get embarrassed about, but it's whatever. It's funny and you guys like it and it's whatever. So thank you for your question. All right, this is the last question that I'm going to do. Let's do, what is it? Hannah's Life 11. Oh, well, Hannah, Hannah's life 11. I stay positive because I really don't let shit get to me. I really don't. Um, I know it might sound corny, but it's really true. You know, there's sometimes I see hate comments and I do respond. And I sometimes do get nasty and I do get ignorant, but then I delete it. And I'm like, why am I giving them any, why am I giving them like any time of like my time? Why am I giving them like, why am I paying attention to them? So I just ignore it. I ignore it. And if people that are getting bullied, that if you're getting bullied, I don't know if you are or not. If you are, please go to the principal. Please go to the guidance counselor and handle that. Don't take people's shit. It's not about being a bitch or being a snitch because you're telling on them. It's about getting the problem under control and handling that problem so it doesn't continue. So there's that. And for my just being positive, I just... You know, I just live my life. I don't like to have negative shit in my life. I keep that away from me, you know? I just don't hang out with the friends that I used to hang out with that much because all they did was smoke pot and stuff. And I don't keep that in my life anymore. I'm all about being fun, about having a just amazing life. So, yeah, so that's what that's my advice to you. That's just why I'm always positive. I just, I'm just a fun person. So, yes, hopefully that helps you. <laughs> if it does, hell yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching my Snapchat Q&A. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, thumbs up. This is something different that I've recently just started doing, and hopefully you guys do like it. I'm sorry my lighting and stuff was different. I had to make sure that you guys could see the Snapchatters that were talking and whatnot. But yeah, this was fun. I really liked this. It was really good. So it's pretty cool to put a face with the question and have you guys be in my YouTube video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all my social links down below, and my Snapchat will be down below as well, so you guys can go... Um, follow me on Snapchat. You can be my next uh, Snapchat Q&A. All right? Live, laugh, slay, bitch. Thank you guys so much for your questions. Bye.